Four years ago, I delivered on my promise to pass health reform before the end of my first term. The Affordable Care Act helps make sure you don't have to worry about going broke just because one of your loved ones gets sick. Insurance companies can no longer place lifetime limits on your care. They can no longer jack up your premiums without reason. They can no longer drop your coverage when you need it most. They can no longer discriminate against children with pre-existing conditions. And pretty soon, they'll no longer be able to deny you coverage based on a pre-existing condition like breast cancer or cervical cancer or charge you more for care just because you're a woman. Obamacare secured new access to preventive care like mammograms and cancer screenings with no copay, no deductible, no out-of-pocket costs for more than 20 million women. And now most health plans are going to begin covering the cost of contraceptive care. Now, understand, this is crucial for women's health. I don't think your boss should get to control the health care that you get. I don't think insurance companies should control the care that you get. I don't think politicians should control the care that you get. I think there's one person to make these decisions on health care, and that is you.